Welcome back everybody to another episode of Let's Play This Wars 8 Empires. I am your host, the Player Chaos, and today we are going to, um, well I see found something from the break. You see, my schemes keep expanding, and I don't know this, I think it's because I keep getting tiles. But I have found scouts. Now, this is how it is to you, it goes from the kingdom and scout, but also, like, um, say, Linky. So, uh, Linky, do you want to come along? So, um, so Linky, rock along. Anata no Vuyu no Hodowaki. So we now got the daughter and the barber. Lou Linky has kind of been appearing more often these days. I mean, um, she was in Dynasty Warriors Tactics 2? No, this is Tactics 2 rather. And she wasn't really seen since. I mean, she was in um, Romance of Kingdoms, but that's not Dynasty Warriors, that's still the same company. So, you know, you'll call on that one. But um, she hasn't been seen since this Tactics 2 in my book. But she's actually a very. Uh, I find this to be a, one of the most important characters, one of the very important character if you think about it from Lubu's side. Because he had um, Dio Chan, who was kind of the reason why he did all this, one, the reason why he betrayed Don Guo. Thank you. My face is plain as your armor. Hmm. Um. Sun Altar. Sun Altar base and change the web to clear. Okay, that's a good one. Um. Lilinki's kind of very important, because you had, um, on Lubu's side, you had um, Zhang Liao, who was his like, right hand man, who ends up defecting to Zhang Wei. Um, you have Diao Chan who is disappears after GRP. You have Lubu who dies. You have Cheng Gong who I believe died during or after the battle. I can't remember where he died. I think it was like suicide or something like that. And that was it. That's all the notable guys you had from Lu from Lubu's side. Well, you didn't even have Cheng Gong to be fair. He um, kind of appeared last battle. And the uh, extreme legends. Lu Ling Ki. Um, is probably the more important one because that's the daughter of Lubu. The daughter of Lubu didn't really disappear. Um, well, she did. There's rumors either way I've read where she actually joined um, as uh, a concubine of Sasa, which kind of makes sense given how you know, things went. And there's other rumors where she became. Um, soldier in the army. Then again, there's also. No, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But there's rumors that she just. She didn't die. She went off somewhere. I think. Uh, I'd, I'd like the idea that she went off. And, um. I like that she went off and joined Wu. That's one of my favorite. I mean, Wu takes an everyone. Um, <laughs> wow, well, I was supposed to. Uh, I like the idea that she just didn't give up. But then I know after your father dies, you you kind of lose your way. I mean, this is. Lubu dotes it on his daughter. Lubu and Kini meant everything to Lubu in the history books, if, we, uh, if, we, if there is anything to go off. So to simply disappear? Would kind of make sense, but she wouldn't just disappear and then not leave a mark somewhere. I mean, Lubu is probably the strongest face, the strongest? Probably the most powerful person you'll find in Chinese history in terms of sheer force of strength and brutality at the same time. When it comes to, um, we'll say, when it comes to actual calm side, Luminki is not is a really good um, kind of. Um, what the hell's going on there? Luminki is really good to bounce off because it's the daughter of Lubu. 
on there's a page on you. Maybe has the page on me. And now again, I made you players on open plans. More troops. Okay, Jola. Thank you. Sorry, I'm gonna be playing up there, I guess. Alright, what are we gonna do? We are going to. Uh, we're gonna lose gas for time. Probably. We might see if we can try this quick. That one's a B, that's a good sign. At least a B. You think I wouldn't be surprised if lower than Okay. He really loves Red and Young Yang. Right, we are going to attack. There we go. Now let's remember to actually change officers this time. Um, take Jiao Yun, and we'll leave Pantong at home this time. Game! Must be the girl playing up. There we go. Um. I think it's that play as well this time. As it sounds, I'm actually probably I'm going to cut it here, folks. Um, I just didn't save anyway. <laughs> I mean, hell, I've been going on way too long now. <laughs> um, so, um, my apologies for this part being so short. I know it's, yeah, I'm doing half an hour parts and this is a 10 minute part. Um, so, that has been, um, the first few episodes of Dynasty Wars 8 Empires. I guess I can kind of use the end slate to get like thoughts across so far. Right. First off, graphics. Um if someone knows that if that's just me or if that's actually the game, let me know because um I kind of I'd like the game, but if it's just me I need to know how to fix it, you know? Um what else is there? Uh it's a good game. It's an Empire's game. This is why they Empires you don't come for the plot. You come for the actual battles. You make the battles yourself. You give them, you give them context. So I could make an entire story out of what's happened so far. I love this game that much. Um, in terms of move sets, I haven't actually seen that many new ones so far in my list of characters. I mean, let's see. Hang on, let me just get the list up. Yeah, let's, yeah. Oh, yeah. let's get the list up. Um. So far, the only really the new move sets I've seen and actually used, uh, the line for the Sabatons are really fun. I love these things. Um, what have I used? Um, well, these have been for a while, so I can't really use them. La da 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 da. Uh, Wolf's Fang. That's a sword. Okay, the Tridents. Um, I think that's been an in for a while, but there's two different versions of the move set depending on the EX. Um, I actually like it. It's kind of fun to use. 
Um, staff's good, the badge gone, that's good. Let's go against her. Let's start with twin sword. Okay, Blink Blade. Um, Blink Blade is the lightning sword. It's actually been in for Seven Empires, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, Dinosaur 7 had it in as. No, Dinosaur 7 Empires, sorry. Because 7 had it as Blink Blade, yeah. Um, brought it in for Shimai Shi. Shimai Shi. No, Shimasu. Shimasu, but I can't remember his name. Ahem. Uh, weapon. So. It was kind of one of those things you had to learn. It was It's a really good weapon. It's really powerful and it has a lot of uh, wide ranging attacks. It's really fast, keeps you mobile. My only concern is that it's kind of weak compared to the other weapons. But then again, his older weapon was the Rapier, which was focused on combos. And wasn't strong at all. You couldn't use it. I mean, I've no offense to the Rapier. It's a it's a decent weapon for what it's a decent idea. It doesn't work. Uh, Swift Blade is a uh, sword. Uh, sorry, Slammer is always a fun. Imperial Flame. I think the Imperial Flame is a new one. I don't know that one. The spy card said. Okay, my opinion on the um, child thing. I like the idea. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I've got a character who's maxed out their attack already from having a kid. I love this idea. I hope they do it more. I hope they have it where the kid marries someone. And because they've got kind of magic in this era, I kind of want them to play to that and actually have like um, an excuse for same sex marriage. I know it's not historically accurate, but given half the shit that happens isn't historically accurate, I'd kind of like them to push the boundaries and have like same sex relationships. Just for laughs. Oh, well, I say just for laughs. It'd be entertaining as a little spin on it, you know? Like, um, Leon Chi and Wang Yi marry, I don't know. Sorry about that. But uh, my opinion on A characters. In general, the system needs fixing because there are a few things that just don't make. I don't like the idea they can make a character whose eye goes out of their head. You know, otherwise it's good. It's really fun. It's, it's insane to make. Um, I'm, they, I'm presuming they've done what they've done before, as well with some of the characters where they. Um, this way, seven empires. They had characters who were in to begin with, like uh, Martang or Martang. I can't say. It was in as a warlord. He actually got his own model, but it was made of edit character parts. I love that they've brought that back and they've got characters in. I'm hoping that's what they've done and Lara isn't a um, character I've got from another player. I'm thinking though that's the thing. I'm... I think that Steam has actually made it so that Koei has got the game on online all the time. So it's constantly updating. So you're constantly finding new characters that are made by other players. So for all I know, Elias, Dark, Silver, and all those guys, all my guys, are around the internet for someone else playing with, and they're going, yeah, they're going rubbish. If they are, and if you've got my characters, then you know, let me know. I'd love to know your thoughts on them and if I can prove them on them. And let me know funny stories about them, like if they've done something stupid. I'll be you know. Dude, I've been I've been there. I'll do it half the time. <laughs> um Do I like the idea that the entire and uh, the Wunaga's um, people have been made. Ugh. This is a crossover territory. I I like the idea of crossovers, but I like the idea of them to be official crossovers, not edit character crossovers. Because yeah, you know, anyone can make a character as a, as a model. Anyone can make uh, Nobudaga. Anyone can make Mitsuhide. Anyone can make. Um, let's think of something big. Anyone can make. Technically, anyone can make Pangton. Uh, not Pangton. Shingen Takeda. Anyone can make Kenshin no Usugi. That sort of thing. Yeah, anyone can make um, Shimazu. That sort of thing. But if you're going to have crossover, and if this isn't official, then, you know, this is me being, you know, punch my mouth if this isn't official. Then this is actually very skill work. And I'd like to know who made them so I can thank them. Because I'd li I love the idea of the uh, Samurai coming over to Dynasty Warriors. I'd like it to be in reverse, but I'd just like the official touch, you know? As silly as that sounds. Um, I've said enough on Lu Linky. I think it's safe to say I love her and whatnot. But um, yeah, people say like waifus. I keep getting told, you know, you haven't got waifu, you you got no waifu and whatnot. Um, yeah, I'm in two minds. It's Wang Yi and Lu Linky are my two favorite girls. Of this I, Leon Chi is up there, but then I think she's taken by Link Ai Sun Quan or something like that. Um, what else is there to talk about? Yeah, it's probably going to be a summing up part. 
The virtue system, I wish they explained it more. There has to be more than just if you're treating your people right. Because look at it. Most of these guys are neutral. I mean, hell. There's, most of these are. I mean, that's one evil person in this. One. Most of these guys are neutral. Does this mean that eventually, like, I will come out and be, like, free, but not have anyone to make friends with? Yeah. Um. I'm not sure if it's difficulty or what the. I wish they'd even find it faster. I mean, I've been in. Um, this is six years, okay? The game goes for 50. And I've unified 10 regions. I am over. I'm about under halfway there to unify the land. I wish. I'm hoping it's a difficulty thing and not the AI. If it's AI, I will be disappointed. Um, I wish they'd. I like the idea you got to make a choice of where to build things. But I wish they'd make it more apparent of what you can lose out on. Like, um, do I want a tome medicine over? Do I want um, Rides Armor? Or do I want Shadow Runner over? Do I want Harry? A Harrier? What the hell's a Harrier? Oh, it's a system bird. That sort of thing. Um, I wish they'd explain the prefix system. I have no idea what my prefix do. There's probably a tutorial somewhere that explains it, but hell if I can find it. Okay, now let's just have a quick look. Uh, do we have an explanation? Doesn't appear so. Hmm. Not even lame. There's probably one somewhere. Who knows? But um, yeah, I haven't been using the, the, these things. I should. I should be coming here to use stuff, but I'm not. And these are really nice. I should be using more stratagems, but there's no reason to. I should be buying more items. I'm not. I'm doing this all on basic stuff. I get it's normal difficulty, but I should be doing more, you know? But I don't have to. It's, yeah, it's getting my nerves. I Probably next time I'm going to put up in hard difficulty or something. So, yeah. um, Overall, okay? So, this is probably like a half... Gameplay. This is probably going to be like something point five because it's going to be like a sum up as well. Um, I like what they've done. It's a very nice addition to what uh, MRI's um, summarize the Instawise Seven Empires was. I think they've improved in a lot of areas, but I don't think they've explained what they've done well enough. You know, or the AI isn't good enough. And the gr I've mentioned the graphical glitches. They they shouldn't be there. I mean, um, let me just make sure this is saved, just to be sure. Um, can I get Steam up? Yeah, can I get Steam overlay? Okay, let me just show you something. Uh, screen screenshots. Um, of this one in general. Okay. Um, uh, sorry, let me just probably can't make it big enough, but yeah, the eyes, right? This merchant stole a tower. How did he steal a tower? There we go. Look. Oh, it doesn't work. Hey. Uh, I work coins upon. Yeah, this. Can I make that full screen? No, I can't. But yeah, that shouldn't be happening. And I know there's some cute stuff like I've got this. You know, that's really cute. And then there's a little kitty. And then there's um, I think that's is that no Pinyaka? No, that's no Pinyaka. And there's no eyes still. Where are the eyes? This one has eyes. What's going on? Show me eyes. Yeah. There's some really fancy stuff in this. I love this. That was when I'm um, Ari Wangi. <laughs> but yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> I got to. Yeah, now everyone's got another date this was recorded. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, um, what else can I say? Achievements. I haven't actually looked this up. I haven't looked through any of these. There's 48 allegedly. I'm on 12, uh, 14? 17. 
I know one's for getting all achievements. But otherwise... Yeah, it's... Random stuff. But, um... That's another time. So... Um, I guess this has been the, um... I don't want to call this a review episode. It's not a review episode. It's like a recap episode and thoughts. But this is like... This is kind of half Let's Play, half First Impressions episode, I guess. I know I've spent 20 minutes. I'm sorry. I... I... This is kind of because of technical difficulties that I kind of stopped and did this. And I'll... You know, my apologies for that. And I shouldn't be doing this. But I guess this episode's kind of... Um... Five minutes Let's Play and then technical difficulties led into First Impressions. Now... Don't get me wrong, I still love this game. This is still a really, really fun game. But I I can still find flaws in it, you know? And I shouldn't be looking for the flaws. I should be I should be just getting in and enjoying it. Like, yeah, it's a good game. I enjoy this, yes. It has some really good improvements over what Seven Empires was. This is in my opinion, obviously, so I've probably got a low opinion. But, you know, I love the, what they've done, but then this is... Uh, uh, anyway. Um, yeah, sorry for rambling on, folks. Um, so, next time we will resume conquering the world, but I'm probably going to take a break. <laughs> I'm going to take a break here. Yeah. Thank you for watching and listening if you came through to the end. If you liked it, give it a like, and um, probably share it with everyone now. It really does help out if you do. Um, if you like what you've seen of these parts, feel free to subscribe. I'll probably get up recording more of these if I can, but I'm getting back in the game. So then, folks, I'll see you next time when we continue the conquest of China in Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. See you next time, folks. Have a good day. Uh, one day I'll get an outro. I know it. Catch you next time, folks. Take care.